E from MarketWizards.com and eMiniWizard.com. Mining traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. It's just before 10 o'clock. We've got the uh, news coming out. And it is Friday, the 15th of November, 2019. Remember to use risk capital you can afford to lose. All right, this, this is a four minute chart. Half gap we've got at 04. Anybody that is coming in, a reminder, we've got news coming out. <laughs> Anybody that played for the half gap, we've suggested you get to this 06 to 04 area paid for sure. Five minute chart just behind us. And this is our half gap trade completing. And that's one of the highest odds trades in the book. And good fortune below. Middle. All right here, this is our middle. Nice trade if you took it. My suggestion, sidelines for news. And double top, stop still behind us for our <clears throat> resistance target. And this is a way to start the day, get lucky. Educated guess, but this is a type of open you either want to stand aside or short. You don't buy, the, buy these highs after that 1% run from yesterday. It stays low to the high. So here's our proportions in a two day swing. You know, a big boy's in this trade short side. <clears throat> once, once we're able to get back down and take out the seven. Protect profits already if you've got any. Demon triggered at eight and a half. And we've obviously got this uh, O2 to contend with today. This will be very important level today. Retest we've identified. First of all, at that prior O2, right? That was the prior high. So that's an important retest to be defended. And obviously yesterday's high is also one. And I said, be careful today. If Even if we get a newer high, like a, <clears throat> two ticks or three ticks higher high. Be very careful about Charlie getting whacked. Trying to just close his eyes and buy now. After the <clears throat> targets have already been hit. We're looking at this box for the monthly. This is the primary range that I am looking at to be resolved. This range has been resolved. Now we're here trying to support. Here is transition, here's our resistance box. I say two-way day. Now let's see what happens a little bit later in the day. Anybody that's got the half gap, we'd say that's assumed support, meaning paid for sure. They leave chips on the table, but you don't want to squander what you're able to get in this first swing. My, my style anyways. <clears throat> and this is the daily. This is our normal resistance zone back here. This is the extreme zone, and this is the top of the extreme zone. And a reminder, 
These are still all important supports going forward. That 82 we called yesterday, and that 87 that we called, market's going up. Then we said 89 to 91, probably support for the squeeze. And then we got, and then the breakout at 95. So that's all important going forward. Still supportive. I say two-way day, and let's play the range until we get some type of news that moves this thing. There's a four-minute chart. Globex, I'm going to put the five on because four is incredibly fast, and so is a five. <clears throat> Range trading has been the assumption since uh, I was up anyways this morning. I'd say that at the time, probably this O2 support, get to seven, seven and a half, get paid, anything above that, the good fortune territory. All right, that's a good start. 